a photographer, you have a lot of competition, so it's really important that your website is top notch. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you three things you can do to improve your website. For this video, I'm gonna be using my client, Brooke, as an example, and I'll link to her website below so you can see the full website after this video. The first thing that you'll see as you go to Brooke's website is that she clearly states her style of photography, and then you see the boxes that show the types of photos she also offers to her clients. This information is really important to have on the homepage of your website so that people can easily tell what type of photography you are and the type of photography that you offer. Because if you are a wedding photographer and you just have a wedding photo on your homepage with no text, people might think that you are a wedding venue, a wedding planner. They may not know right away that you are the photographer that they want to hire. And as an added bonus, having the text like wedding photographer, family photographer will help boost your SEO. The next thing I want to point out is that Brooke has photos of herself and her family on her website. While you don't have to use a family picture on your website, having a picture of yourself is crucial for creating that emotional connection with your potential clients. And lastly, you'll see that Brooke has clearly laid out her packages and pricing. If you are a family or wedding photographer, this is especially important because moms are busy running around with kids and brides are busy planning a wedding. So any time that you can save them, they're going to love you even more. If you need help creating your website, make sure to check out the link below to my free website guide. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and share it with your friends.